Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be looking at investment opportunities in the UK, and particularly, I'm going to be looking at diffusion energy in Oxfordshire and what this opportunity is. Diffusion energy can power the world of tomorrow. And companies in Oxfordshire are leading the race to make this happen. Okay. Oxfordshire is leading location for fusion energy research and innovation. This is an opportunity to collaborate with the key research and innovation companies that can make the technology breakthrough needed to create clean, green 21st century, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> it's currently in the processes, right? And since uh, uh, it's it's ongoing process many many years so for those of you who understand the history of how long until now it have uh, been a work in progress but has a lot of potential this particular technology has a lot of potential to revolutionize but currently everything's in the process myself i would like to cover this topic in more detail just because i'm interested but it's very challenging this this particular uh, problem or issue is very challenging Sector market, as we look to decarbonize the world, demand for non-fossil fuel energy source is growing. The UK government has a 10-point plan for a green industry revolution. It aims to build a prototype commercial fusion power plant by 2040. Okay, that's realistic. <laughs> and many investment opportunities are available in UK fusion energy research and development. So the, the everything's in works, right? So uh, people are working as well as that's not limited to that, but they are working on laser technology, how to produce energy, as well as fusion energy, how to produce energy, and how uh, all this industry have a world over time, as well as I'm interested. Either way, I'm interested. Oxfordshire, with its fusion energy research capabilities, is the ideal soft landing location for investors established there. Presence and demonstrate design of commercial fusion energy plants. So there's a lot of interest and perhaps there's a lot of funding there. So money <laughs> right here in this particular subject uh, when it comes to produ production of energy, uh, money is not an issue. <laughs> we're looking for talent, we're looking for ideas, we're looking for skilled people, but money is not an, a problem. <laughs> Growth prospect. Uh, of for sure is global leading in fusion energy with a strained it superconductivity cryogenics. I covered that recently in superconductors and how and what they are looking to do with those. Uh, but either way, they're looking perhaps not necessarily into fusion energy as well as they're looking superconductors, they're looking for advanced materials, robotics, and AIs and other cutting edge technology, how and where they can potentially improve existing systems and perhaps where the future is going to be. These are all significant global sectors. The market for superconducting magnets will be worth 2.7 billion by 2027 with a compound annual growth rate of 2.4%, while the cryogenic market will be worth 12.9 billion by 2025 with the annual growth of 6.4%. These numbers are more accurate. There are some numbers up there, I don't know where they are taking those numbers from. Uh, when it comes to energy, I can understand that there is a lot of unrealized gains within different markets, not necessarily limited to UK's market, as well as UK is very important with how much uh, currently people are paying for uh, energy, right? So it's one of the most expensive places in the world where people are paying so much for energy. So even if it's UK, <laughs> the market wouldn't be not necessarily enough. There are a lot of potential up there worldwide, especially with some of the underserved markets as well as the new technologies taking into effect. But currently, uh, with the new processes would be taken into effect, uh, the, those processes would be very expensive. So it would need to be manufactured at scale to make it cost effective. That's where a lot of funding might come. So there's a lot of opportunities depending <laughs> within this market. 
The UK also has negotiated association with the European Atomic Energy Commission and continue to participate in the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Project. This significant potential for global collaborative opportunities for companies in Oxfordshire and the United Kingdom. As well as you, for people out there who are following what's happening, perhaps uh, moving away from nuclear, as well as moving away from coal. Uh, renewables is a new thing, but it can be very costly, as well as uh, ongoing maintenance fees that would require to perhaps uh, rework some of the solar panels, as well as wind energy and capturing of that. So currently there are a lot of opportunities, but they, they do have all the resources, they do have all the skill and talent. So uh, there's a lot, already a lot of people working within, within this industry. Connectivity, Oxfordshire is close to two major international airports. The area is also well connected to the local and national road network, making London, Midlands and South Coast seaport easily to reach. Oxford also has two London railroads to Paddington and Maryland station, each taking under an hour. It, either way, if I were to look at manufacturing, some of the maintenance costs, if any, so if it would be products or services, right? If you were to offer any products or services and you would be looking at manufacturing, some of the costs where you would incur a lot of costs, that perhaps would be one of the major costs of that, if not labor force, perhaps would be um, ongoing costs like energy, right? Especially with the rise of cost of energy. So you might be interested in uh, locating your business closer to where energy is cheaper, right? I'm not entirely sure if uh, this location in particular is the best location, but uh, based on the information and what they are sharing, it might be a very good location, I guess. <laughs> this location might be very good, but it's ongoing process, right? So if you were to begin contacting uh, local councils now by 2040, you would have permission to base all your business activities within that location based on local council performance. <laughs> People out there who are interested in learning more, I have published a book, Rise Impact. In this book, there's going to be a series of books. Within this book, I'm sharing a lot of information, where to begin, then establishing your livestock enterprise. In this book, I'm sharing a lot of information, how to reach first milestone. That would be from, uh, progress from zero. Uh, to first and thousand dollars your response and how to achieve this milestone. I'm sharing a lot of examples which I personally believe would be very beneficial for people out there uh, who are interested in learning more as well as perhaps looking to where to save money. So ideally if anything this book potentially would save you a lot of money uh, by sharing a lot of examples of uh, mistakes that other made so you won't need necessarily spend your money, time, resources uh, learning from your personal mistakes, you can learn from others as well. You can find it in the description below as well as Top Retailers has it. Research and expertise. The region features fantastic research facilities such as Coham Center for Fusion Energy, operated by the UK's Atomic Energy Authority. The CCFA has a joint European and the world's largest and most powerful Takamak on the behalf of European partners and Mega Amp Emphasis Takamak Mask of the either way. So they do have all the facilities, they do have all the know how. And I personally believe uh, if you were to reach out to any of those facilities, you would have respond uh, time very fast. For some reason, those people on top on top of their things. <laughs> it's a big difference, right? Uh, I spoke with a number of professionals already. Those people know what they're doing. <laughs> well, perhaps it's very highly uh, technical work that they need to accomplish, and uh, some people out there they know what they're doing. Uh, hopefully. Uh, they keep on doing great work, so it will be cheaper for a lot of people to pay for energy costs. It's something that we're currently incurring. A lot of people are overpaying for energy. I personally believe in that, as well as so there's more uh, uh, and better ways of producing energy, and they are currently trying to solve this problem. 
but hope that they can solve it a lot faster than it is uh, uh, set uh, currently as well as uh, they might be interested in looking at different ways how they can produce energy uh, so there's a lot of interest potentially they have skills and they have all the resources uh, if anything keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing <laughs> hopefully myself I don't need to learn everything about energy and production myself <laughs> hopefully uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next one